what's difficult with the UN is the NGOs aren't given a great deal of weight. Big, uh, well-organised and well-off um, NGOs tend to do very well and they have good relationships with state missions and special rapporteurs. We're a very small NGO. So the uh, orthodox groups, Christian groups, the evangelicals, um, tend to have a lot more money and therefore a lot more resources to send a bigger lobbying group and more time to spend um, accessing states and influencing them. Uh, Islamic fundamentalism actually comes more through Muslim states. So the certain Muslim states who seek to particularly, they've given up somewhat, but their, their, their most recent thing would be defamation, defamation of religions. So whilst usually defamation uh, legislation is targeted only at individuals, uh, these states sought to have it so you couldn't criticise religion as a thing, as an idea. And this is very dangerous in that it undermines the fundamental right to free expression. They got resolutions on this consistently for a number of years. For some reason, religion holds this sort of moral trumping card, um, and it seems to be, uh, in these states, immune from critique, which is really very difficult for us and very dangerous. Um, they're reluctant to um, always reveal human rights abuse in different states. There's this silent agreement. We'll keep quiet about yours, and then you can keep quiet about ours, and we'll just talk about Israel. That's what they're... All of them agreed we can talk about how awful Israel is, but not necessarily what's going on in their own country.